Hey everybody, this is Bethany from Sue Say Steva. Today we are reviewing this awesome little four-in-one sandwich um, panini waffle and omelet maker from ZZ. This is what it looks like. Uh, we've been using it here, so um, it looks a little dirty right now, but it's just because we're using it and testing it. Um, we are making waffles right now, but um, they're really easy. You can see here they have little tabs. You just pull these out and these trays come out. There's one on the top too. Uh, and you can swap out and put in the omelet trays, the sandwich making trays, or the panini or grill tray. So you have a ton of different options. They're really easy to swap out. You just lift those tabs up. I can't do it now because it's hot, um, but uh, they're super easy. These are stainless steel trays. I, I always spray mine down whenever I'm making stuff in them just in case. I don't want it to stick. Um, so we just kind of spray it down. We're making waffles. Um, so we are going to add our waffle mix here to the waffle tray. Um, you will have to let this heat up. It just plugs into a regular outlet and then you just kind of let it heat up. Um, add your mix here. And spread it around. Make sure you cover all the areas. Just kind of running out of mix. So it's pretty easy to use. Once we get this filled up, we're going to shut the lid and it lights up. What we figured out though is like the light comes on green to tell you that it's ready to be used, but it doesn't like wait for you to fill it up. So what we've kind of figured out is that um, we just kind of check it. but. It usually takes like two cycles of the light coming on and us filling it and then it goes off and then um, we let it go through the process again. So I don't know if that makes sense or not, but um, but as you can see, the lights are on here and it'll light up here in a minute and then we just let it run through. Um, and then when it goes off, we know it's time for it to open, open it back up. Um, here are some that we've already made. So as you can see, they came out really, really pretty. And perfect. Um, it's super easy to use. You can make omelets with it, which is really great. You can um, use these trays here, um, the omelet trays, and fill it up with egg and then fill it up with your favorite little um, fillings. You can make the little pouch sandwiches, which we love to do. Just put one piece of bread, put your filling in here, and you can make grilled cheeses is what we make a lot of. You can even do dessert things like put some biscuit in here and then put cherries in the middle. You can do a ton of stuff with them. Um, you can grill uh, meats and do panini sandwiches on those. So you just have a lot of versatility with this one grill. It works really, really well, um, and it's really easy to use. Uh, the only Negatives I have are that the instructions are really not helpful. Um, they're in very broken English. So uh, we've had one of these before, so we kind of knew how to use it. Uh, but if you don't have any clue, I would look up a video on how to use it um, because the instructions are not very clear. Um, but it's pretty easy and simple. Um, so if you know how to use a sandwich maker, you should be able to figure it out. Um, other than that, um, it's been, you know, a really great little sandwich maker and we've really enjoyed using it. Um, you can check out the full review and more information in the comments of this video.